Welcome to the grand final. We have a, a breeze blowing down the ground here this afternoon that could quite easily be three goals. So uh, the all important toss has been, and Lilydale's obviously won it and kicking to the town end at Scottsdale. All the players are limbering up, <coughs> and we're waiting. We're waiting just at the moment for the ball to be bounced. All yours, curls. No worries. <laughs> Both sides looking pretty keen here today. Bit of push and shove going around, nothing serious though. I'm just getting warmed up. We're in full view, the players are all manned up, they're ready to go. Umpires just put themselves into position, blowing the whistle and we're just about ready to kick off. And there's no doubt about it, the nerves and the tensions that would be running through everybody out there at the moment, their feet would feet be tingling and their fingers would be going all over the place. Yep, and here we go. Here we Just go, let's start. Ready to start. Yep, we're away. No, no, hang on. Umpire's <laughs> decided to have another look over his shoulder. Might be a bit nervous himself, Lester. Yeah, he might be. And the synonymous name to Lilydale in Venn's rucking for Lilydale. And from the other end, another name for Winnelier by the name of Michael Rainbow. Yep, and there we go, we've got her. The umpire moves in. And we have to start. Yes, and bounce has favoured the bottom end of the ground. There's been a free kick. Lilydale has infringed inside the square. Rainbow moves the ball forward, kicks the ball to centre half forward towards Mountney. Mountney's in front but misses the mark. Yes, scruffy play. Yes, he's back on it, the umpire, and he's paid a free kick towards Lilydale. The kick goes. Yep, and he's brought it out to the half back flank. Bucky takes control and passes it straight to Sammy Arnold. He's got plenty of room, time to steady. Kicks it straight to a Windley yep. man. Jared Island marks the ball, moves back off the mark nicely. Number 10 holding the mark. Yes, and kicks the ball long. Mountain is in front again, underneath it too far. Rainbow moves forward and Crane's picked up the crumbs and kicked the ball forward. Not a very good kick, but it's moved the ball forward. Lilydale's in front and kicked the ball off the ground. Oh! Caught play, play on, on and yes. Bucky takes the ball, clears it straight to the wing. Arnie up and takes an easy chest mark. Plenty of players running down the field at the moment. Arnie's aiming for centre half forward and drives it long. The numbers are back there and the spoils occurred. The runners Number are 33 on. Oh. Got the ball free and mucks it up. And no yes. rusher behind. And Lear kicks a point for Lilydale. It's probably to settle in, yeah, I think, we'll today. Even the runners and the border boys are getting nervous. <laughs> Have a look at Bruce Lockhart running out there as pacey as he ever was when he played. Have Last a look I've at ever that. seen him run, to be quite honest. <laughs> the ball's back into the play on the outside of the ground. It's touched and the ball's out of bounds to be thrown in. So this is the first boundary throw in for the evening. Afternoon. Afternoon. <laughs> So not the evening quite yet. We're killing them, girl. Throws, <laughs> <laughs> throws it in and Arnie's in the ruck, doesn't get the tap out, goes straight down to Windlear. Kerr gets the ball and moves it forward and he's hoed the boot into it again. It's a free kick, a free kick to Windlear. Must have been instant off the ball, I think. Yes, true. A lot of players milling round the ball. There doesn't yeah. seem to be many players holding their position. There's uh, four players on Winnelly's forward line and nobody on... Good. The Good bump there by Dave Stewart, cleared the ball. Barron has the ball not clear of him, well played. Yes, the boy met the ball beautifully coming through was Gerald Rowe. 
Sammy Arnold kicks the ball long, straight into centre half forward. Pierdo gives a push and takes a mark. Yes, and they've paid the mark. 35 metres out, directly in front. Arnie's coming straight off for the blood rule, and Dicko is going to replace him. And he's a big lump of a lead. Yeah, too, right? big Dicko, he's a big fella. That's the chariot. So Dicko will be taking position probably at centre half forward. Yep. Changing in the ruck. Eden moves in. Very deliberate. Kicks yes, it and long. He's to go. And he's put it straight through the yep. middle. Welcome back from Queensland. Centre. <coughs> the umpire will bounce and who have we got in the ruck here? We've got Ven. Yes, we've got, we've got Ven still against Rainbow. Oh. On the ball we have Clark, Rowe and Mason. That was a better bounce the by the umpire. Yes, a beautiful bounce. Drew Hall meets the ball and fumbles. Jed Rowe scoops it out the back door. Stewie Mason picks the ball up and moves oh. it forward. Caught and knocks the ball not clear. Deeks grabs the ball, kicks it long. Very well played, number two. Kicks it to centre half forward and we've got Dave Stewart running again. He's quite happy to let it go over the boundary line. And he's very open. There's only three play players in the 50 metre arc, or four players in the 50 metre arc. And the ball's back into play. It's very scrambly Nutsy out there. Nutsy gets at the a moment. quick kick to centre half. Oh, and there's forward. a little push and it was let go. Here we go again. The ball's on the ground. Dave Stewart yeah. flicks oh, it out underneath him and he's been paid a throw. Yes, being caught. Unlucky, a good passage of play to yeah. try and move that ball on, and that was very good effort. They pass it here to the half forward wing area. Move ball comes out. Rainbow takes the mark. Yes, got his body in position nice and early. Good mark there on Van. Definitely in the better position. Moves the ball forward. Here comes Crane. Crane moves the ball behind him. Here's Island. Oh, oh yes. Good bump there. Yes, very good bump. The ball's awesome. moved in and the umpire moves in for a bounce down. Very good passage of play both sides there. Yeah, very physical at the ball, straight from the start. Again, just a few friendly bumps just to keep it interesting. Yeah, they won't hurt one another while they do that. No. <coughs> The umpire has a bounce, and it's not a bad bounce again either. Then he gets the tap, puts it straight down to Furls. Furls out to Bucky. Bucky kicks it along yes. the wing, straight to Greg Nutting. Good handball. Oh, he went without her. Yes, Tutty unlucky. missed it. Yep, and away we go. Barron's moved the ball forward, picked that up beautifully. Used the ball long and direct into position. Good. Mountain is, oh, and yes, Mason's completely outclassed by the captain of Lilydale. Yeah, good mark there by Rodney Deacon. He's yes. going to take a bit of a run here and too. One bounce. Yes, he just has to be we'll careful. Have, oh. Yes, could have nearly have been a step too yes. far, but he was right there and away he moved it. The ball was delivered beautifully to the outer side wing, but a ball kick results in Luke Hadley being the first one at the ball. Luke, oh, and that's a shocking kick. And up and under to his brother Sammy, but anyway, Sammy's dropped her and the ball's rebounded by Lilydale. Scott Furls has handballed straight out to the wings, put it straight out wide, and we're running. Kick the ball into centre half forward and yes, straight to a winner. Very, very good mark by Christopher Smith. Judged that ball beautifully from behind. Gets his kick, gets tackled from behind, but good enough still to get the ball away. And we have, oh yes, a very good passage to play. Somebody trying to bust through the pack there. And the umpire's called for a another bounce down. The breeze has picked up and it is probably a, a close to a five goal. It almost would have to be, wouldn't yep, it? Yep, to the town end. Lilydale aren't using the ball brilliantly at the moment, but we are running into the seven minute mark of the first quarter. And by bounce of the ball, yes. it goes straight to Lilydale, straight to the centre of the ground, yep, and the very coach well. gets a quick kick out. Move that ball beautifully. Barron turns out of trouble, handballs to Ireland. Ireland moves the ball on towards Drew Hall, number 17 takes the mark. Bucky a beautiful the player, mark this boy, a beautiful player. Very well balanced. Hall moves the ball forward. Yes, towards Stuart Mason. Yes, and he's yes, he's infringed with and the umpire pays a free kick. Tut's been called for an infringement there, running straight into him while he's going for a mark. And the interchange has occurred back again. Arnie's back on the ground and they've spoiled it at centre half forward yes. here for Wendell. In Lee. comes Clark. Clark finds the ball, finds Hall, and Hall short deft kick misses the target and row. Rowe's good enough to recover, gets the handball out to Ireland, and he's been infringed with and he's got one over the shoulder. Gerald Rowe takes the ball, moves it, beautiful pass, but yes, missed, yeah. and the Lilydale mark behind. The captain again, who this would have to be his fourth possession, yeah, and Rod playing very well. Rodney Deacon's rebounding very well off half-back there. Gets and the ball to full-back. And he's run on again, he's created another position. No. He's kicked it a bit wide, but Lilydale's got the run, and it's formed a pack situation. <laughs> Play on the umpire's call. Lilydale's got the clearance, and they kick long, they go for the boundary. 
And you'd have swore that was David Walsh kicking the ball out of a back pocket then. A very, very ordinary. <laughs> Plenty. Good point, good point. A great stalwart of the Lilydale Club, David Walsh. Oh, he's been, been involved many for many, many, many years. Again, not a really clean tap out there, and the ball gets held up, but rebounded straight Mounty, out by Mounty Ridley. picks the ball out of the pack, yes, and it's a free kick further down the ground to be taken by Rainbow. Oh, Rodney ball, Deacon did take Deacon. the mark, but be again... careful, Deacon. Give the ball back. Yes, and Rainbow brings the ball into the forward line. Yes, and a good mark by the big fella. This is the century goal kicker, Stephen Barron. There's not much you can really do when they bring no, the ball in that quick, can't. is there? Yep, the only thing that's going to be blowing straight into his face here is the wind. Now he could yep. be as far as 30 out, but that's as good as 60 on the outside. Windle are actually playing quite well into the wind to start off with yes, the first 10 minutes. They're moving the ball nicely. They're yeah. keeping the ball low, which is what you've got to do, kicking into the wind. Up a bit, <laughs> isn't it? Look at that impact tent up there. It's going to go out of its pegs in a minute. <laughs> nice fresh wind straight off Antarctica. <laughs> it's actually out of the west, girls. <laughs> oh, the west is it? Uh, my orientation's a bit lost today. You're right. You're only going to university, though, mate, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I am going to university. You're obviously not a weatherman. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, meteorology's and not my mate. the goal. That's a beautiful kick into the wind. That's as good as four goals with the wind. So the scoreboard now reads Lilydale one goal, one seven. Winnelia, one straight goal, six. No Bo, Bo Eggs, it's called. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Now by bounces the ball straight up in the air. Ooh. Clean tap out yes. there. Goes to no one in particular. But Joey Mason picks the ball up with his usual deft skill. At, bounces out onto the wing. The ball's free. He well met the Lily ball, Dale. knocks it down. Lily Dale Dale boy met the ball beautifully. Picks it up. Four. Gets a quick kick along the wing. Nutsy's there to contest the mark, oh, but Arnie yes, comes over the top. Up. He was up. Yes, Mason's away. Windle clear. Yep, Mason's away. One bounce. Yes, beautiful play. Straight she's on beyond there. the ground. Yep. Yep, she's on. Yep. And we've moved the ball out of defence again. Lilydale's playing the ball beautifully across their half back line at the moment. They're keeping the ball clear and keeping possession. Good mark there by Sammy Arnold. Just taking in the centre. Palm straight back off to Furls. And Furls goes long to centre half forward. This is how they got Very play. lazy win all here to let that Ooh. player make the second position from deep in the back line. The ball comes towards the wing. And Windelier forced it over the line. Windelier, Sonny. Windelier? Uh, curls, Windelier. 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 It's not Windelier. No, no. We, Windelier. We've got a lot of wind about here today, right, but it's so not actually I'll focus Windelier. on the Windelier. <laughs> Beautiful work, Almost Curls. Almost need to see a speech pathologist. Yeah, no, it? Curls. Winalia. We'll, we'll have this down pat by the end of the game, mate. Yes, and Randall Wagner oh! meets the ball and gets the ball to his boot, but it doesn't go very far. A pack forms, and they're all trying to move oh, the ball boy! forward. A good effort from both sides. <clears throat> Umpire Bass moves in. He's been round as long as Methuselah's Billy Gate, but anyway, doing a pretty good job out there at the moment. He was umpiring back in the 70s, so I don't suppose there's any reason why he can't be doing it now. And a kick from Lilydale hits, goes through as a minor. Greg Nutting took a quick snap there, but managed to put it just across the face. Dave Stewart wasn't really in position when he got it behind. And there's a million players curls down here at the back end of the ground. Have a look at this on the town end. There's hardly anybody from the centre line to Winnelia's goal line. One, two, three, four lots of players. Well, it's very important that Winnelia do get the clearance. <laughs> they really can't afford with this wind to have the ball stuck in the forward line of Lilydale. And look where that man Deacon's lurking. He's just lurking around the centre of the ground again. Yes. My word, he started well. And uh, yes, and the umpire's pulled for over the line. I'd imagine Ooh. the ball would be bounced down in Lilydale Square. It's amazing how these things always happen on grand finals, isn't it? Well, it is. You know, you'd, you'd really find it hard to believe how an umpire standing in front of the line can actually see whether their foot is over the line from where he is. But anyway... By two inches, but Yeah, well, there you go. They're obviously in the best position. He is the umpire, and the umpire wears the whistle. <laughs> Yeah, go, sir. As if I'd give umpires any advice. <laughs> yes, the umpires have a bounce down. He yes, bounces. And it's a beautiful bounce of the ball, and, and the boys are up. Yes, it's tried being bustled forward, and to no avail. I think we'll, we'll have, have another bounce, bounce here. Yeah, we will have another bounce, girls, there's no doubt about that. <clears throat> I think the best thing Winnelier could do now is just rush it straight over for a behind, get the clearance and get it down to their forward line. Just looking through the Lilydale lineup, there is some old names from, from the past, isn't there, when you look at Arnold, Venn and... and um, there are a few Leicester and they've actually just snapped yep. a quick goal. They did. We did, Luke Venn, the Luke man you Venn. were talking about, has snapped yep. one straight out of... The, the big ruckman. Oh, he's called it touched. 
Oh, and oh. well, there oh, we well, go. Oh, we're getting it wrong here, aren't we? Now, we'll have odds on the Christopher Smith. Odds on Christopher Smith kicking in from fullback will yes. not make the same mistake as before. I don't think so, really. So I could nearly imagine him sitting beside <laughs> the bench coach. I could be <laughs> spending a quarter at least. No, the replay, we don't need it. It was touched. <laughs> uh, an interchange is about to occur. The pacey Pearton is about to come off the ground mm -hmm. to again be replaced by the big fella who's going back on Cameron Dixon. And Pearton is moving beautifully, mind you. Yes, he's actually recently moved too, Lester. He's moved up the Gold Coast. Yes, well, actually, I knew that. I have a bit of time and a bit of bit of, to do with his father at the moment. And, yeah. uh, his father was a champion playing for City South in his heyday. And Richmond. Rock it up. Yep, and here we go. Nice the ball's sport. in the air. Island's at the f fall of the ball. Oh, and, and Bucky uh, gets a quick handball straight work. to centre-half forward. Yep. Puts his body over the ball. There's Betsy. Kicks it straight to full forward, but no-one's home for either side. Yeah, Goal, and the ball yes, will get. And the ball's bounced on very quickly. Very good player in Scottsdale's underage sides before he went back down to the league. He was a Scottsdale boy, was he? Yeah, he played one under 19s and reserves best and fairest at Scottsdale. A very, very good player as a kid. Paul Windley oh, cleared the yes, ball well and there. Clark's got hold of the ball. Clark's a very, very good player at the fall of the ball. But a very ordinary kick. Talk about blow them up and they let you down. Yeah, I reckon, eh? Anyway, the ball's gone to the boundary line and it's out on the other side of the ground. So the umpire gets to keep busy and throw the ball in yet again. They've had a bit of work here in the first quarter, the umpires, mm. and they? Actually, they're probably the standout player out there at the yeah, moment. Yeah, I'd say so. Hello. Most touches anyway. Hello, the bench is a bit confused at Lilydale. This, this big fella, this number 23, this Cameron, he's knocking himself up, just running backwards and forwards. He's off again. <laughs> the umpire throws it in, and we've got Arnie up, who gets it straight down to Walshie. <laughs> Walshie gets pinged, and it's not holding the ball. Did you say Walsh? Yes! Not David Walsh out there running No, around the no, that was Glenny Walsh we're talking oh. about. David Walsh is on the co Oh no, he's a runner today. Well, Glenn Walsh actually had a season at Winlear about three years ago. Very, very fine play. Goes out with a young lady from Winlear. Oh, does he now? Yeah. Oh, I'm learning. Oh, well, we've black him off the town now. He's not allowed back. Fair enough. Yeah, come play one year and then take our girls away. That's just not a thing that can happen. It's not on, is it, really? No, we haven't got enough of them at <laughs> Winley, let alone some outside to come and take them off us. <laughs> yep, we've got complete control here just at the moment. Yep. We've got a stalemate. The boundary umpire throws the ball in beautifully. Great elevation. Gerald Rowe gets hold of the ball. Bodgy Barron kicks the ball forward. Jared Island misses what he should have taken. Michael Rainbow traps the ball beautifully at his feet. And away we go. Luke Hadley's handballed the ball forward, but straight to a Lilydale player who Who's moves cleared, it. Straight oh, to Ooh, Arnie oh, over the yes. head, straight to Greg. Oh. And... Yep, great play. Oh, yes, Ooh. but there's that man row again. The umpire's paid player. Oh, no, he's no, going to no, bring it back. No, it back. No, oh, he's got to umpire. bring it back now. That might have been just a tad of Mark, probably one of the player. greatest players to play at Winlear. He's won seven best and fairest at different clubs around the state. And seven has won, best. Yes, he won them seven years in a row. A great player. Great country footballer, never went and tried in town, but a great Ooh. country player. Winley, a man in front, gets the free kick. He yep, paid a, paid a free, free kick, kick for holding yep. there. It's interesting, Deacon's on the mark and he's questioning it, but and he's going to go on. Crane kicks the ball forward, yes, and oh, good yes, play. very, very good punch from Lilydale, number 15. Cleared the ball beautifully. Thurls picks the ball up yep, and, and just walks it straight yep. over the line. Probably smart decision. In oh, very there. smart decision. You could knock up on a day like this if you ran around that wing too fast because you yep. got the wind hard up his jumper there. Yep. I'd, I'd actually like to say, I don't think Lilydale has taken full advantage of the win. The game still seems to be playing on nerves at the moment. Well, I think Nobody that... seems to be getting clear breaks and using a lot of pace. Sam Hadley kicks the Ooh. ball in the air. Very good play from number 33 from Lilydale. Kicks straight into the solid centre half forward. Oh, Randy they Wagner can't... with hard hands. Missed, missed the mark. Oh, Dave Stewart oh, puts yes, the body in and flicks it out again. Out beautifully, Dave Stewart. Oh, unlucky. Oh. Winley has got it. Coates has moved the ball forward. And that's a very ordinary kick coming Deacon's back across the underneath the plate. ball, takes a solid mark and Bull thinks about it, no, plays on now and kicks it straight to Dave Stewart who nearly takes the mark. Greg Nutting's got another snap. And he could be a goal. This could go oh, anywhere, no, but no, yes. Windelier have cut it off in the back pocket. Well met by Hadley, well met by Hadley, and he's thrown his hands in the air saying, come and get her off me, boys. But Ooh. anyway, a poor kick falls short. And, and the, the coach takes it. The coach takes the ball. A very skillful player, this man. Very a solid very all year, Bucky. Player. Got a lot of kicks, yep. a lot of touches. Fantastic coach for the footy club. Really lifted him this year. And passes in short. Doesn't quite reach Betsy. Goes past. Yes, runs it over up. and will throw it in again. Good to watch, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. People will pay their money to come in the gate, even if it is eight dollars a head. <laughs> but the day's entertainment at Scott's. Pedo Here grabs the ball, quick handball out. No to the captain, passes it off to Sam. Sam oh. back to the captain, doesn't quite work. Onto it again, he's given it his best. 
Now, when just when did that Pearden get back on the ground? Pearden just come back on before. Oh, and Windelier under pressure have kicked it straight out on the half forward flank. We have a young fella loosening up here, young Sonny Whiting, son of Tom, a very good player in his day, Tom. Hmm. Played in a few grand finals for Lilydale in the mid and late 80s, Tommy Whiting. Oh, Tommy Whiting, yep. yes. Yep. No, and the umpires have made, they've, played, they've made the decisions. They've paid an yep. opposite free kick and a 50 metre penalty. 50 metre penalty, that's a little bit undisciplined. Walsh comes off the ground for Whiting to go on. That boy might just add the pace and initiative that they need in the forward line at the moment. I think if you're going to have Pierdo there at full forward, you've got to have someone small underneath yep. him coming. and pace. Yes. Yes, and it's another oh, infringement. Stoke has been paid, but no, free kick to Lilydale, and they've played on, they're running it out the wing. Yes, Plenty of run gone. there. Beautiful run. Kick straight to, oh, and there is Sonny himself. He's dropped the mark, but they've played on. Gets the handball out. Straight on the ground. Yes, it was a very good tackle. Windelier are trying to clear. They've yes, got it and out away again. comes Mason. He moves the ball out, and there's Clark in the middle of the ground. Clark passes across towards Barron. Barron's got it. it off. Number 10's right Dixon on the mark. Moved 